What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So now I'm going to uh, walk you through how to install the April Fool's prank, uh, basically Minecraft 2.0, uh, that was released uh, by Minecraft yesterday. Uh, I say released, basically. Um, it was put out there <coughs> and shown by a few of the, the popular YouTubers. Uh, there's no download link on the Minecraft uh, well, the Mojang website. I'm struggling to find download links here and there, but I finally come across one uh, that I've actually made myself uh, and put together. So this is working. You know, I have 100% put this together myself. Um, so all you need to do is open up a web browser of your choice. Uh, there's a link in the video description uh, next to the words download link. So just paste that into your URL and then just go ahead and click enter. If I maximize this, it is going to take you to a, a URL shortener. Um, I use this on most of the downloads that I do. So after five seconds, there's a yellow button in the top right. Just click skip add. And then that will eventually bring you to the media fire page. So here you can see uh, Minecraft 2.0 server and client dot zip. So click download. And then it will download in the bottom left here of your... If you're using Internet Explorer, it might ask you to open or save. Um, you know, the, I'm not. It, it depends on what browser you're using and what uh, download system that uses. So I'll we'll just click the file. I'm using uh, a program called WinRAR for this tutorial. Uh, the the file itself is made in a zip format. So if you don't have this program uh, and you don't have any other um, program file extracting program or whatever then uh, you'll still be able to download it because it was made using the windows uh, default uh, compressed file format so it'll make sense so you just open the file and, and you'll see minecraft server uh, minecraft jar if you're using single player you want the of course the minecraft.jar uh, and then minecraft server so now all you do is press the start button of course just a regular, if you're new, I'll walk you through it, but just type in run uh, and click enter. It'll bring up this box. App percentage sign, app data percentage. I'll write this out in the uh, video description just so it's it's clearer. Um, open up your .minecraft folder. Go into the bin. Uh, yours will look a little bit different. I'm going to do this uh, somewhat different. The way that I do it is I rename my jars. Um, when I change them so that I've still got them rather than downloading them if I if for whatever reason I need them but yours will just have uh, if you haven't changed anything just one minecraft.jar uh, and then the other files that you see here uh, apart from the ones that are renamed of course so all you need to do is drag the minecraft.jar that you've downloaded into your bin folder and then it might ask you to move and replace. That's the one that you want to click if you're uh, replacing your existing jar. I must add, since this isn't an actual version of Minecraft, um, when you load the game up, it will ask you to update it. Uh, so just click not now, um, but we'll, we'll get onto that. So that's pretty much it. The Minecraft 2.0 is now in your bin folder. Uh, you're ready to boot up Minecraft and play Minecraft in 2.0. So I'll, uh, I'll switch over to the game. What's going on guys and welcome back. Uh, we're now in the, the game version of Minecraft. As you can see in the bottom left it says Minecraft 2.0. And of course in pink in the middle of the screen is April Fools. This clearly demonstrating that it is indeed an April Fools and not an actual version of Minecraft. So single player, create new world, creative, uh, put it to super flat and create the world. I've accidentally loaded up uh, one of my previous worlds, uh, the actual one that I do my Let's Play on. So hopefully this doesn't actually remove any um, anything from the game. So if we press I, well, open your inventory here. Uh, I 
don't know, for example, if we type, uh, there we go, so you can see the, uh, the etho slab that was indeed uh, introduced in the, um, in the, the snapshot prank, and of course it drops the, the anvil. Now, part of me um, thinks that some of the ideas or some of the things that they uh, introduced in this uh, prank or, or um, snapshot or whatever you want to call this version of the game, uh, part of me wants uh, some of this to be introduced uh, into the actual game. I mean, you know, this basically just um, clearly demonstrates that uh, certain things that are not currently in the game can be coded and can be made um, and Minecraft can have uh, a bit of fun here and there as you'll see the uh, the reskinned cow not particularly too appealing have we got a pig they did do a, a pig one as well but uh, yeah and of course if you get um, ooh, what one is it food um what was it? Wheat? There we go. Wheat. You can of course uh, fatten the mobs until the point of them blowing up. Which I think is actually a neat feature and probably possibly could be in the game. It definitely cuts the amount of mobs that you need for certain things down here and there. But anyhow, this isn't a review of the, of the snapshot so I just wanted to prove that it's working and it is indeed of a Press F3 installed and you can see all the features here and there. So it's not bogus, go ahead and download it and play around with it yourself, uh, feel free. But uh, apart from that guys, thank you for watching and I, uh, I hope you enjoyed.